Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I will demonstrate how to draft, cut and sew an off-shoulder dress with straps for a little girl. This dress is for a 5 year old. Hi, my name is Ayo and welcome to 011 clothing tutorials. On this channel, I upload DIYs, pattern drafting and sewing tutorials. If you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now, let's get right into the tutorial. Thank you! I'll be working with the following items. Tape measure, pins, calculator, Tracing wheel, water erasable fabric pencil. Ideally, a pencil should be used to draft a pattern. Of a tutorial purpose, I'll be using this black marker pen, a pair of paper scissors, a pair of fabric scissors, rulers and curves, a matching thread, a matching long zip, pattern paper. Two yards of African print fabric, a yard of bridal satin, I use two yards of lining fabric, and some interfacing. I'll be working with the following measurements shoulder to shoulder measurement 9.5 inches, shoulder to waistline 10.5 inches. This measurement should be taken from the shoulders down to one inch above the belly button. Around waist measurement 22 inches. Around chest measurement 23 inches. Around shoulders and upper arms 26 inches. Dress length 35 inches. So I have here my pattern paper which I have already laid out on the table and I've already drawn the starting margins at the top and on the left hand side of the pattern paper. I will now draft the front and the back patterns together. The shoulders to waistline measurement is 10.5 inches and this will be the length of the bodies of the dress. So from the upper starting line, I will measure and mark 10.5 inches downwards like this and I will square a horizontal line across. And this line is the waistline. Next, I will calculate the armhole depth. To do this, I will divide the around chest measurement by 4. And this is 23 inches divided by 4. And this is equal to 5.75 inches. So from the upper starting line, I will measure a mark 5.75 inches like this. And I will square a horizontal line across. And this line is the arm O line. Next, I will divide the shoulder to shoulder measurement by 2. And this is 9.5 inches divided by 2. And this is equal to 4.75 inches. So, on the upper starting line, I will go ahead to measure and mark 4.75 inches like this. Also, on the arm O line, I will measure and mark 4.75 inches. I will now connect these two points together like this with broken lines. Next, I will calculate the around chest measurement plus 1 inch for E is divided by 4 and this is 23 plus 1 divided by 4 and this is equal to 6 inches. So on the arm hole line, starting from the side margin, I will measure and mark 6 inches like this. Next, I will locate and mark the middle point on the broken line.
From the middle point, I will measure and mark half an inch inwards like this. I will connect these two points with my ruler like this. Then I will connect these two points together with a French curve like this. Next, I will calculate my around waist measurements plus 1 inch for ease divided by 4 and this is 22 plus 1 divided by 4 and this is equal to 5.75 inches. So on the waistline, I will measure and mark 5.75 inches like this. I will now connect these two points together with a ruler like this to give me the side seam. This is now time to create the off shoulder and neckline for the dress. At the upper part of the armhole, I will measure and mark 1.5 inches downwards like this. At this side, which can be the center back or the center front, I will multiply the 1.5 inches that I measured at the armhole by 2 and this is 3 inches. So I will measure and mark 3 inches like this. I will now connect these two points together with a French curve like this. I will redraw the armhole curve and make it less curvy like this so this is the new ammo curve i will locate and mark the middle point on the off shoulder neckline like this i will draw a line from the upper starting line to this middle point this is the position of the straps I will measure and mark the length and this gave me a value of 2.5 inches. This strap will be at the front and also at the back of the dress. So we have 2.5 inches in two places at the front and also at the back plus extra 1 inch for the same allowance. And this makes the total length of the strap equal to 6 inches. I will now go ahead and draw out the shape of the cape. I will use 3 inches as the length of the cape. Next, I will measure out 1 inch zip allowance at the center back of the pattern like this. I will now trace out the front and the back cape on another pattern paper. I will trace out the back cape with the 1 inch zip allowance at the center back and the front cape without the zip allowance. I will now cut out the cape pieces like this. I will also cut out the bodies of the dress. So this is the front and the back bodies. I will fold the zip allowance like this when I'm about to cut out the front bodies on the fabric when cutting out the back bodies on the fabric the zip allowance will be included i have here this basic sleeve pattern for for a child i have a separate tutorial on how to draw this the link will be above and in the description box below i will also add this big basic sleeve pattern into an off shoulder sleeve to do this i will need some measurements the around shoulder and upper arm measurement which is 26 inches and the around chest measurement which is 23 inches i will now find the difference between these two measurements and this is 26 inches minus 23 inches and this is equal to 3 inches i will now divide this 3 inches by 2 and this gives me 1.5 inches so i will fold the sleeve into two equal halves like this i will now locate the points at the top of the sleeve where i will get a width that is equal to 1.5 inches i will square a horizontal line across like this next the length of the cape is 3 inches i will make the length of the 
half an inch shorter than the cape and this is 2.5 inches so i'll measure and mark 2.5 inches like this i will square a horizontal line across i will use the armhole of the bodies as a guide to draw the armhole of the sleeve like this i will now go ahead and cut it out i will trim off this pointy lower edge of the sleeve like this I will open up the, the off shoulder sleeve like this and at the lower edge of the sleeve I will measure and mark half an inch on both sides of the middle line like this. I will now connect the points to the top edge like this to form a dart. Using the cello tape I will close up the dart like this. What I have done now is to tighten the lower edge of the sleeve. I will make the length of both sides of the sleeve 2.5 inches long. I will now redraw the lower curve of the sleeve like this and i will also straighten the upper edge i will now trim off the excess paper so these are the three pieces that will be used to create the cape of the dress i will now go ahead and paint these three pieces on another pattern paper like this the three pieces are painted side by side with the sleeve at the middle. The sleeve is shorter, so I will just go ahead and even now the lower edge of the cape like this. I will now cut it out. I will discard the front and the back cape pieces as they are no longer needed. This is the off shoulder sleeve and this will be underneath the cape. This is how the off shoulder sleeve will be underneath the cape of the dress. I will now go ahead and cut out these pattern pieces on my fabric. So I have here this African print fabric which I am going to fold into two equal halves. I will cut the front bodies first. So I will fold the one inch zip allowance first. I will now paint the pattern in place along the folded edge of the fabric as the front piece will be cut on fold. I will use half an inch seam allowance all around the pattern except for the side seam where I will use one inch side seam allowance. I will now go ahead and cut it out. As for the back, I will open up the zip allowance on the pattern. I will now paint the pattern in place on the fabric, like this. Then I will use half an inch seam allowance all around the pattern, except for the side seam where I use one inch side seam allowance. I will now cut it out. I will now go ahead and cut out the front and the back bodies on the lining fabric as well. I have gone ahead to cut out the off shoulder sleeve on the African print fabric. I cut four pieces. I use half an inch seam allowance all around the pattern before cutting it out on my fabric. I will cut the cape pattern on this purple bridal satin which I have already folded into four layers. The center front will be cut on fold. I use half an inch seam allowance all around the pattern. I did not add any seam allowance to the center back because there is already one inch zip allowance at the center back of the cape. I will now cut out the bits of the dress. So I've already folded the bridal satin into four layers. I will draw a horizontal satin line at the lower part of the fabric. 
from this line i will now measure out the length of the belt and this is 27 inches and i will square a horizontal line across like this i will measure and mark 2.5 inches as the width of the upper part of the belt and 3.5 inches as the width of the lower part of the belt from this go up by 2 inches i will now connect these two points together with a ruler like this i will also connect these two points together with a ruler like this I will now cut out the belt of the dress. So I have here two belt pieces. So I've gone ahead to cut out the front and the back bodies on the lining fabric as well. This is the off shoulder sleeve. I will go ahead and separate the four pieces into two pieces each. With the right sides together, I will go ahead and sew the lower edge of the off, of the off shoulder sleeve together using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. I undertake the same allowance to the end of the sleeve on the wrong side of the sleeve that is the side of the sleeve that will be inside the final outfit this is the front bodies i will now place the lining piece on top of the african print piece like this right side to right side i will now sandwich the two sleeve pieces at the armhole of the bodies like this the right side of the sleeve is facing the right side of the african print fabric I will now pin it in place. After pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch it in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. And I've ironed the and I've ironed it very well. After stitching, I knot the same allowances. And then I understick the same allowance to the armhole of the lining fabric. These are the back body pieces. I will pin the other side of the off shoulder sleeve to the armhole of the back pieces, right side to right side. The right side of the sleeve is facing the right side of the African print fabric, and the wrong side of the sleeve is facing the right side of the lining fabric. After pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine, stitch it in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done and I've given it a thorough press. After stitching, I knocked the seam allowances. I now went ahead to understick the seam allowance to the armhole of the lining fabric. This is the cape and as you can see, I've already fused interfacing to the wrong size of the two cape pieces. With the right sides together, I will go ahead and sew the lower end of the cape in place using half an inch sewing allowance. This is the piece that I will use for the strap of the dress and it is two inches wide. I will now fold the fabric strip in place like this and I will stitch it in place like this on my sewing machine about one eighth of an inch away from the edge of the fabric. I will later cut it to the size that I need for the straps. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. 
I will now cut the strap into the length that I need and this is 6 inches each. I arrived at this 6 inches value earlier when I was drafting the pattern. I will need 2 pieces of the strap. This is the bodies of the dress. What I would do now is to locate the cursor point of the front neckline by folding the front neckline into four, excluding the off shoulder sleeve. I will notch the cursor point. And this is where the strouse will be fixed. As for the back, I will leave out the one inch zip allowance at the center back. So I'll measure and mark one inch like this. I will now fold the neckline, the back neckline into two like this, and I will notch the point. And this is also where the straps will be fixed at the back, at the back neckline. I will now go ahead and pin the straps to the neckline of the bodies like this, at the points that I notched. After pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch it in place about one quarter of an inch away from the edge of the neckline. So now the stitching has This is the cape of the dress. And I'll stitch the lower edge of the cape in place as you can see. After stitching, I notch the same allowance and then I understitch the same allowance to the lower part of the cape on the cape piece that will be inside the dress and this piece that I understitched is now the wrong side of the cape. And also, I've given the cape a thorough press. With the right side of the cape, Facing the wrong side of the bodies, I will go ahead and paint the cape all around the off shoulder neckline of the bodies, like this. After painting, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch it in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done as you can see and I've given it a thorough press. I left one inch opening at the center back as you can see and this opening is for the fixing of the zip later on. After sewing the cape to the neckline, I overlock the raw edges. I now went ahead to understitch the seam allowance to the neckline on the lining piece. These are the two belt pieces. I will now fold the belt into two like this, right side to right side. I will now stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done as you can see and I've turned the belt to the right side and I've also given the two belts a thorough press. This is the bodies of the dress. I will now go ahead to measure and mark 3 quarter of an inch above the hem of the front bodies on both sides. I will now go ahead and pin the belt in place like this, 3 quarter of an inch above the hem of the African print fabric. I will now go ahead and stitch it in place 1 quarter of an inch away from the edge of the fabric. After doing this, I will now pin the front and the back side seams together, right side to right side, fabric to fabric and lining to lining, making sure that the seam lines match up. Once I'm done painting, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stick it in place using 1 inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done, as you can see.
It is now time to cut the lower part of the dress. The total length of the dress should be 35 inches long. So the length of the skirt is the full length of the dress minus the shoulder to waistline measurement which is 10.5 inches. And this is equal to 35 inches minus 10.5 inches and this is equal to 24.5 inches. I will add 1.5 inches to the 24.5 inches for the same allowance and this is equal to 26 inches. As for the lining, it will be 2 inches shorter. So this is 26 inches minus 2 and this is equal to 24 inches. The lower part of the dress will be gathered. To know the fabric width for the Ankara fabric, I will multiply the around waist measurement by 2.5 and this is equal to 22 inches multiplied by 2.5 and this is equal to 55 inches as for the lining i will multiply the around waist by 1.5 and this is 22 inches multiplied by 1.5 and this is equal to 33 inches as you can see, the around waist measurement that I'm working with is 22 inches. So for the Ankara or the African print fabric, I will cut out a fabric that is 26 inches long and 55 inches wide. For the lining, I will cut out a fabric that is 24 inches long and 33 inches wide. So now I have gone ahead to do the cutting, as you can see following the measurements that I calculated earlier. What I would do now is to go ahead and gather the upper part of the lining and the African print fabric. So now I have gone ahead to do the gathering as you can see. I will now go ahead and paint the gathered pieces to the bodies, right side to right side, fabric to fabric, and lining to lining. After painting, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch it in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done. So as you can see the stitching has been done. I have pressed the waistline and I have overlocked the raw edges. It is now time to fix this long zip to the center back of the dress. First, I will measure and mark the point where I want the zip to end at the center back. And this point is about 10.5 inches from the waistline of the dress. I will notch the point like this. I will now turn the dress to the wrong side. On the African print fabric, I will measure and mark the 1 inch zip allowance at the center back. Starting from the point that I notched at the center back down to the end of the dress. I will do the same thing on the lining fabric as well. I will now stitch in place following the 1 inch as a guideline. So now, the stitching has been done on both the main Ankara fabric and the lining fabric. I will now measure and mark the 1 inch zip allowance at the center back of the dress on the right side of the dress like this.
At this upper part, where I left the one inch opening, I will notch vertically where the one inch opening ends. This will make it possible for me to bring out the same allowance. I will do the same thing on this other side as well. I will now go ahead and fix the zip to the center back of the dress. The first thing I will do is to change the regular machine foot into a zipper foot. I will unzip the zip. I will flip it over so that the wrong side of the zip is facing up. I will make sure that the stopper of the zip aligns with the top edge of the fabric. I will now go ahead and sew the zip to the center back of the dress following the guideline that I drew on the fabric. Note that I'm sewing the zip only to the Ankara or the African print fabric. So now I have fixed the zip only to the African print fabric. I will now turn the dress to the wrong side like this. You can create a slit at the center back of the lining at the hem about 7 inches long if you feel that the lining is not wide enough and it may restrict the, the movement of the child. The next thing to do is to close the opening at the center back at the neckline. Like this. Then I will sew the lining in place on top or very close to the stitch line that was used to fix the zip in place. I will go ahead and do the stitching now. So using the regular machine feet, using the regular machine foot, I will close the opening at the center back neckline, like this, right side to right side. I will trim off the excess zipper tip like this. I will do the same thing on this other side as well. I will now flip over the lining so the right sides are together. I will change the regular machine foot into a zipper foot like this. I will now go ahead and stitch the lining in place following the previous stitch line or very close to the previous stitch line.
so i have fixed the lining in place as you can see i've sewn the lining in place as you can see and i'll fix these fabric rows to the front of the dress as a design detail and this is the final look of the off shoulder dress with straps so that's it guys we are done if you find this video helpful do not forget to give it a thumbs up drop a comment down below share this video with your friends who are interested in sewing and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done so already see you in my next tutorial bye and thank you so much for watching